should take it now. There is not much that he can do. He must gobble it up. I mean, Pragnananda should take it. But he is just being sure if this is not some kind of a bait in the position. It doesn't feel so and so he takes it. Queen takes b3. Ravnak gives up another pawn. Wow. He is in the mood of giving up material. But now just rook takes e6. Looks pretty strong and powerful. Yes, he takes it. Rook takes on e6. Queen moves to f4. And Prag brings his queen in. If you don't trade the queens, the king will get mated. For example, if you give a check here, I can just bring my rook back. So that shouldn't be an issue. No back rank problems there. But if you trade the queens, you are just lost in the end game. Raunak doesn't want to trade the queens. But he doesn't even see a good option for himself. If he doesn't trade, he's in trouble. He trades it. Now, this end game is completely lost because he's two pawns down. And Prag is going to convert it. Rook moves to the A file. Rook E4, good move. The D4 pawn is falling. King comes up. And Prag can actually take the D4 pawn. But he can also go after the G pawn. Just go here and chop this off. Yes, he goes there to the G pawn. And Raunak plays his rook up to A5. Prague can decide between which pawn to take. He takes the one on g5. Rook takes d5. And now he can start pushing his pawn. He goes first rook g4. Looking at the d pawn. The h6 pawn is also going to fall with the king coming up. He plays his rook to d7 with some hesitation. And when the b pawn moves. Raunak resigns, Pragnananda wins, he's now scored 5.5 out of 6, clearly he's the MVP for his team SG Alpine Warriors and also the strongest scorer in this entire tournament, the way in which Pragnananda is playing here is just tremendous, even in this game he gave very little chances to his opponent, first just improving his position in this uh, Jobawa London and then going all out slowly and steadily, scoring a very crucial win for his team.